Hosea Stout was the Mormon chief of police in Nauvoo, Illinois while the church was headquartered there and was also a member of the Mormon vigilante group called the Danites. After the death of Mormon prophet Joseph Smith in 1844, Brigham Young, who was a Mormon apostle at the time and who later became Joseph Smith's successor in the LDS Church, appointed Hosea Stout as the leader of what was called the Whistling and Whittling Brigade. The purpose of the group was to use young men and boys to follow any strangers, anti-Mormons, apostates or other undesirables in Nauvoo. They surrounded and followed these individuals as a group while whistling and whittling with large bowie knives, both to spy on them and to harass or intimidate them into leaving town. Hawkins Taylor, who was the sheriff of Lee County, Iowa, just across the Mississippi River from Nauvoo, described Nauvoo as infected with a great number of thieves who would cross over to Iowa and commit depredations. He claimed the Mormons were stealing livestock and grain from farmers in Lee County to give to the men who were hired to work on the Nauvoo Temple. This was confirmed by Annaliza Young, 19th wife of Mormon prophet Brigham Young, who said, I was talking with a person who was with the Mormons in Missouri and Illinois. He said that Joseph not only advised his people publicly to plunder from the Gentiles, but privately ordered them to do so. At one time, he was sent himself by the prophet to steal lumber for coffins. He went with a party of men down the river, loaded a raft with lumber from a Gentile sawmill, and brought it up to the city of Saints. Young also stated that the Danites were doing the plundering. She said, About this time the Danite bands were first organized, for the purpose of plundering and harassing the people of the surrounding country. They were instructed to go out on the borders of the settlements and take the spoils of the ungodly Gentiles. For was it not written, The riches of the Gentiles shall be consecrated to the people of the house of Israel? But when Taylor would send an officer to Nauvoo to investigate the theft, the officer was run out of town by the Whitlers. Taylor said, Several hundred men were hired to work on the temple. These men had to be fed. To do this, they lived on the smith cattle, sheep, and grain of all kinds, all taken to the temple, consecrated and then given to the Lord's workmen on the Lord's temple. The Mormons would send teams out, load with what they found and take it before the eyes of the owner. Farmers were forced to sell out their farms for whatever they could and went away. The people had no remedy. The Mormons were the majority in the county and had all the officers of importance. If a writ was taken out, the officer was whittled out of the city. The process of whittling out an officer was as follows. A great tall man by the name of Stout was the captain of the whittling society, and he had about a dozen assistants. They all had great bowie knives and would get a long piece of pine board and get up close to the officer and pretend to be cutting the pine board, but would cut over it and cut near the officer. In the meantime, small boys would get tin pans, old bells and all sorts of things to make a noise with and surround the officer. No one would touch or say a word to him, but the noise drowned all that he would say. The result would be that he would get out of the city as soon as possible and never come back again. I believe that I was the only officer that ever took a prisoner from Nauvoo without being whittled out.